Had it not been for the tireless efforts of a 19th century hunter turned conservationist, we would be talking about the loss of the American bison as a species. William Temple Hornaday, chief taxidermist of the Smithsonian's U.S. National Museum, had an early career as a big game hunter, an experience that gave him a peek into a world without effective wildlife conservation. Ironically, the years he spent killing large game moved him to become a passionate and influential protector of bison and other North American wildlife. In a letter to the Smithsonian's assistant secretary in 1887, he wrote, I desire to respectfully call your attention to the fact that the United States government has thus far taken no special measures whatever for the preservation of the great American bison, either in confinement or on a public reservation. Is not the duty of the Smithsonian Institution to memorialize Congress on this point at the next session? The United States government was finally persuaded to purchase bison kept by private citizens to create a national herd to release the animals back into the wild. Hornaday wanted so much to influence public attitudes on protecting the bison that he even kept a few on the National Mall. 